and work. We need energy to pick, pull, push and move any object from its place. Energy helps us move and carry out different tasks. As energy cannot be created or destroyed, the chemical energy in food is converted to muscular energy that in turn helps us to do work. In the same way, chemical energy in fuel, that is petrol, gets converted into mechanical energy, which then makes the car move when we drive it. Force Force is defined as a push or pull that makes an object move. Force is applied to put a stationary object into motion by increasing its speed or to stop a moving object by decreasing its speed. Force is also applied to change the shape of an object. When you write, for example, you are exerting a force on the pencil because you push it over the paper. In this picture, both the men are moving the trolley in the same direction, although one is pulling and the other is pushing it, which helps them move it faster. Two forces applied on the same object and in the same direction will make the work easier and faster. On the other hand, if both the men pull the trolley in the opposite direction, the trolley will remain at its place or will move in the direction of the force applied by the stronger person. The game of tug of war is based on this principle. The team which can apply more force wins the game as it overcomes the force applied by the weaker team and finally pulls it towards them. Force requires the presence of minimum two interacting bodies. The effect of force is seen by the change in the direction or motion or shape or position of an object to which it is applied. Types of force Muscular force The force produced by muscles to carry out tasks is called muscular force. A coolie or a porter carries a luggage and a rickshaw puller ferries people around using muscular force. Magnetic force The force by which a magnet pulls or pushes objects made of certain metals is called magnetic force. Take a magnet and also take some coins. Arrange the coins in a line and at one end bring the magnet close to them. You will see the coins slowly move towards the magnet. You can try the same thing using iron nails as well. The magnet applies magnetic force on the coins or iron nails that pulls them towards it. Uses of magnetic force An electromagnet is a type of magnet in which magnetic force is created by electric current. The magnetic force is activated when electricity is switched on. In monorail, electricity helps to activate the magnetic force which is used to run the train. The electricity supply is cut off when the rail is to be stopped. 
MRI scanners also use strong magnetic fields and radio waves to form images of the body. The technique is widely used in hospitals for medical diagnosis. Force and Work Gravitational Force The natural phenomenon by which two objects that have mass or energy attract one another is called gravitational force. The greater the mass of the body, the higher the gravitational force it exerts. Gravitational force decreases with increasing distance between the two objects. It is the gravitational force of the sun that pulls the planets and makes them revolve in a fixed path. The tides on the surface of the earth are caused by the gravitational pull of the sun and the moon. The gravitational force of the earth is called its gravity. The force by which the earth pulls objects towards it is called the earth's gravity. Objects when thrown up fall back on the earth because the earth's gravity is pulling the objects towards it. The weight of an object is the measurement of gravitational force between the object and the earth. Weight is force while its mass is the amount of matter it contains. The mass of an object stays the same wherever it is but its weight can change. This happens if the object is moved to a place where gravity is either stronger or weaker. For example, if we go to the moon or any other heavenly body, our mass remains the same but our weight changes. This change occurs due to the difference in the gravitational force exerted by the earth and the moon. Mechanical force When we apply force on any object mechanically by using machines such as use of a pair of pliers to bend a wire, a scissor to cut cloth, a hammer to break a piece of stone, then the force applied is called mechanical force. We use these machines in order to make our work easy. To dig deep and pick mud using a bulldozer is easier and faster as compared to doing it without the help of any machine. Frictional force Frictional force is the force that acts between a moving object and the surface along which it moves. The force of friction acts opposite to the direction of motion. It plays an important role in our daily lives. We are able to walk because of the frictional force between our foot soles and the ground. It is difficult to walk on smooth, slippery ground or if the ground is greasy or oily. This is because the presence of oil or grease reduces the frictional force between the ground and our shoes. If there was no frictional force between the paper and the pen or pencil, we would not have been able to write, paint and draw anything. Rough surfaces 
generate more friction. Importance of force and work in our life Work is done when force is applied. We apply force to get our daily chores done. In terms of energy, work is done when energy is transferred from one object to the other object by applying force. For example, work is done when a ball is kicked and set in motion. This work is done by the force applied to kick using muscular energy. Man has developed various machines with the aim of getting maximum work done with minimum use of force and energy.